the Lord be with you. Have you ever shopped at Home Depot, Lowe's, or some other home repair and improvement store? They always have this area or section or box that is filled with lumber that is broken, cracked, warped, crooked, or that just plain looks bad. If you're not into home improvement projects, think of it as the reduced item shelf in a grocery store filled with dented cans, crushed boxes, and products that are about to go beyond their suggested use-by date. These piles of lumber are usually ignored by builders. After all, who in their right mind would ever use such inferior materials to build a house? That just isn't done. You don't start with a bad foundation because you know it won't last. Thankfully, no one ever told Jesus this. When Jesus builds, he uses the crooked and warped sticks, the lame lumber, the stuff that everyone else is ignoring and has tossed aside. It's almost as if he delights in using materials that everyone else thinks of as useless. It's almost like he's loading up his proverbial cart with all the broken wood that's filled with knot holes and parading it around, inviting others, daring others, to question his choices. How are you going to build a house with that? Are you blind? That wood will never pass inspection. There is a huge pile of perfect, perfectly good material over there. Use that. You can hear Jesus just waiting to jump in and say, No, I'm going to build my house with this wood, and nothing is going to stop me. And off he goes, building the house, one broken stick at a time, one warped two-by-four at a time, one rotten floor joist at a time. And when Jesus builds that spiritual house, we all pass the inspection. Redeemed and justified by his grace alone, we all pass the inspection. 1 Peter 2 verses 4 and 5 says, As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves are like living stones being built up as a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Jesus is described in the Bible as the cornerstone which the builders rejected. Jesus knows all about rejection, about what it's like to be on the outside looking in, about being overlooked and ignored. Jesus knows. When I look in a mirror, I sometimes wonder if God got to me and had to scramble to build me out of leftover parts. I've got a head that can't grow hair, ears that stick out and flop in the wind, a bent nose, eyes that can't decide whether they want to be blue or gray, and feet that would keep anyone from ever attending a foot washing service. And Jesus says, I'm perfect. Or at least, he says, I'm getting there with his help. And not only that, but Jesus has also called me into full-time ministry. Every day I wake up and ask him, are you sure, Lord? You haven't changed your mind, have you? And very much like he said to Paul when Paul begged God to remove the thorn from his flesh, I have often heard the Holy Spirit say, I will use your broken, warped, weak, sinful self to accomplish extraordinary things. I will use your weakness to show my strength. Sometimes, Sissy will ask me if I ever feel like a hypocrite in the pulpit. You see, she knows me better than you do. 
She knows I can lose my temper. She knows that I can let words fly from my mouth that should never be allowed to fly. She knows that I can be arrogant, lacking in compassion, unkind, unsympathetic, and that there are days where I would just like to close the door behind me and let the world do as it will. Still, my answer is always the same. No, no, I don't feel like a hypocrite. Who better to preach the gospel than someone broken who knows he needs Jesus so much? I may be made of leftover parts, but my builder is Jesus, and Jesus isn't finished with me yet. And with great gratitude, I pray you can join me in praising God with the saints, all of whom knew I am not what I might be. I am not what I ought to be. I am not what I wish to be. I am not what I hope to be. But I thank God I am not what I once was. By the grace of God, I am what I am. By the grace of God, I will be what God dreams I will be. And that is so exciting to me that I gladly give Jesus my weakness to show his strength. Amen.